lovelies so welcome back to reviews and recaps today we're going to be talking about carlos king talking about miss black titanic we're also going to be talking about what heavenly had to say about melody sheree and the mellow meters if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and everyone please like share and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below now let's get into today's video so for those of you who may not know Domi made reference and talked about miss black titanic without mentioning her name she referred to her as a melamita that showed up at her doorstep um, of a warehouse she talks about not really feeling safe courtney also showed up to tell her that the police were looking for her because of harassment or harassing communications with um miss black titanic now like i said there was no mention of her name but we know who she's referring to because this whole thing played out on social media and so it's nothing that we haven't sort of heard about previously now what was interesting was that carlos then explains um that a fan went to stormy's warehouse to record harass and stalk her and that this has been happening for a while now first of all from my recollection now i may not remember everything but from my recollection i thought that was the first time that miss black titanic had showed up to the warehouse and that she basically her position was that she went to go and try to purchase something from stormy it was met with hostility um and apparently stormy cussed her out um and then apparently stormy also went um to the internet to continue the cursation now that is what i remember but if i'm wrong please keep me straight in the comments you guys will come on to me when you guys know that i'm wrong so let me know in the comment section below but that is what i remember but what it sounds like from the way carlos was explaining it was that miss black titanic went over to stormy's house stormy's warehouse sorry to record her and like harass and stalk her when from my understanding and from my recollection that was not the case Lewis basically talks about she feels the charges he feels the charges interesting because the charges harassing communications when stormy was on her own property and it was the woman who was trespassing now what is interesting is that how come Carlos King feels confident enough to discuss this charge but hasn't been discussing the harassing communications charge that was brought against Martel Holt? Where is the conversation about that? You feel well enough to stand by Stormy and say what your opinions are in relation to that. But when it comes to Martel and Melody, you can't stand on what is right. Dr. Heavenly did also recant a story where she said that someone who had left a Google review came up to her office to record and take pictures of the hallways, basically saying that she lied about being open when on Saturdays, forgetting that it is appointment only. Now, I feel like there's a point where it gets too much you showing up to someone's office and basically recording and all that kind of stuff saying that someone was meant to be in the office but they're not they're not in the office on saturday sorry like leave a google review let's address it there's no need for you to show up and try to cause a scene now of course we don't know the ins and outs of what happened i'm just saying from my perspective i feel like there has to be some boundaries and I do think that people also have to be mindful of when they become public figures. I think that people get way invested in their lives. So my advice would be get some security because if you're getting to the point where people are showing up at your workplace, recording you and stuff, and you feel like you need to be protected, then you may need some signage saying no trespasses. You may need some, you know, security people making sure that nobody crosses a certain point it's not convenient but that is one of the disadvantages of being on tv um there are a lot of benefits but this is one of the setbacks um now carlos did say that the case was dismissed 
Um, but it poses the question that when does fandom go too far? Dr. Evanley agreed and basically said that there needs to be new laws protecting basically the public figure going forward. He also talked about Marceau talking about the Melometers and how they are uh, attacking him and his expectations that Melody needs to control them. Now, if you guys didn't watch the scene, Melody basically responded and said, how do you expect me to control people I don't know when you can't control your mother-in-law that has been talking ish about me? And it's a very valid question. It's like, yes, the Melometers are Melody's fans, but Melody does not know every single one of the people that call themselves Melometers, right? Let's not act like these aren't a lot of grown people who can basically make their own decision. So they will do whatever it is that they want to do. It has nothing to do with Melody. I also feel like they like to give Melometers a bad rep when to be honest, all of the Melometers I've encountered are very nice people. And if anything, what I've found are people that don't necessarily identify as Melometers. But if they're not a fan of Tisha, for instance, Tisha would just say, oh, Melometer. Or someone like Stormy basically saying, oh, that person is a Melometer. Just because someone, a fan of the show, does not like you does not mean that they have to be a Melometer. They may also not like Mel. They may also not like anyone else, right? They may also not like you. That does not mean that they're from male's fan base. Just because people are calling you out on the way you treat male does not mean that they are melometers. And this is what I feel like people are not getting straight or they know they don't care. They're just trying to push a false narrative, which is what I believe they're trying to do in a bid to try to ice out Melody from the show. Whatever the case may be, it's not working. It's not fair on Melody to have to be dealing with that nonsense. And it's not fair on the Melometers for getting a bad rep for something they have nothing to do with. If we're, let's be fair, or maybe something that a few, a hand select of the Melometers may have something to do with, but not a lot of them, right? Just because someone from the, in quotation marks, Melometer camp may have done something certain people on the team don't like then address it as that person there's no reason for you to be like the melody is this the melody is that it is giving you guys are hateful of the fact that you guys do not have fans that are supportive that support your businesses the way that melody's fans support her businesses and support everything that she has going on so it's giving you guys want to build a community and don't know how instead of you to sit down under the tutelage of Miss Melody and take some notes. Anyways, let's move back to Marceau and what Dr. Heavenly had to say about this. So Dr. Heavenly says that she herself is probably a melometer. I'm like, girl, bye. Where? You said so many things all these years and now you're saying you're a, you're a melometer. Okay. I feel like you're only trying to be nice now because you have to bring some balance because Carlos is there acting like a hater, in my opinion. And I feel like you want to give some balance to the show. And also, you know that if you are out here praising Melody Cherie, you're going to get more views, you're going to get more traction, more engagement. You want her fan base to switch over to yours. The difference is that her fan base are smart people, educated people, that know what you are up to so they will not be switching sides okay and they're loyal so let's just say that now dr heavenly does say she thinks she's a melamine or whatever and that she feels mel's energy and that she understands her and that she just loves mel i'm like you're just sucking up to mel at this point mel 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 be my friend mel that's what it's given i do not like it stand in your own rights as who you are there is no reason if you're not a melometer, you're not a melometer. If you don't like Mel like that, don't be out here talking about you loving her and understanding her. Where was the love and understanding when you were out here bigging up Martel? Was that something that a melometer would do? Was that something that someone who feels Melody's energy and understands her would do? Seriously, let's cut it out. Like, let's cut the BS. At what point are you saying like this fakery is enough? 
And that's what it is, fakery. Now, she did say something that I do agree with. And she said that the problem she sees is that Marceau needs to back up his wife on camera, whether right or wrong. Um, and she goes on to say if her man was having dinner with Melody, as beautiful as she is, and he comes back home agreeing to what he says, she is going to be pissed as hell. Now, I do agree that most women would be pissed if that happened. But let's think about it for a second, right? You, What you're spitting does not make sense. You want her to control a fan base of people. Why should she? Like, why should she? These are people that support her when you guys don't. Why should she? And also, you guys can't even control your mother-in-law. So what is in it for her? Control a fan base, even if she had the opportunity or ability to do so. So I just don't think it's a fair sort of expectation from Mel when they do not do the barest minimum when it comes to Mel. So it's like you want, you expect the world from her, but you don't reciprocate or even show an, an iota of respect for her. I do agree with Heavenly that Marceau always goes against whatever it is that Tisha wants. Tisha could want A and Marceau would say B, C, D, E, F, H, whatever. Anything that is different to what Tisha wants or Tisha is interested in, that's what Marceau is interested in. That is all I have to talk to you guys about today. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button right next to it so you know every time I post or go live. Don't forget to share as well. It helps bring um, more people to the show. So please make sure you share and I'll see you guys in the chat. Bye.